Hi guys, really quickly just want to come and talk to you guys. This is Rosa from Rosa's Resources, aka Shadon. Okay, good morning, good evening, and good night, guys. Wherever you're watching from, I appreciate you guys. If you like my channel, hit the like button, share, and make sure you comment. So uh, survivors, strivers uh, could see your comment and, and get a little stronger in the uh, comment section. Thank you guys so much. Anyway, but this morning I want to talk about um, a couple of things as it relates to uh, domestic violence, a.k.a. narcissistic abuse. Ooh, what a beautiful place. Anywho, um, when you come out of a toxic narcissistic relationship and um, you know all the symptoms, you know... Uh, you have to stay no contact and you just know the journey that you have been on and when somebody else is going through the same thing guys and they call you I'm driving so and they call you um, sharing their episode now that they're going through and you can see all the red flags just uh, waving so high because you've been there and you've done that and you try to walk the person through it it's nothing you could do about it until that particular person hit rock bottom and say, enough is enough. I want to uh, rescue myself, basically. You know, it's nothing you can do. You could talk to your blue in the face. Um, you could plead. You could cry with them. But until they're ready, they're not going anywhere. It's like, I don't want to say you're wasting your breath because, you know, you know when you're going through these toxic relationships, you need somebody to talk to, but sometimes it gets a bit too much and you're tired of listening to the same old story, but because you've been there and done that, you know the person just needs to talk it out, walk it out, you know, go through the process. And when they're ready, when they hit their rock bottom, hopefully sometime, guys, these people don't have to leave in a body bag, but when you see um, a, a relationship getting physically abusive, um, psychologically, uh, just abuse, period. You got to exit, man. You got to ask God for the strength and you got to move on. You know, I don't care because you say you love the person, but love don't feel like that. And uh, I think it's uh, 1 Corinthians 4. Uh, it tells you how to love, you know. God's agape love. You know what I mean? God's love where love is kind. It's not boastful. Love does not hurt. Love do not puff up. Love do not reject. You understand? So, when a person calls you with their um, story of abuse, listen. And when a person have children in a relationship and is abusive, listen, if you can't find the strength within yourself, remember to break the generational curse by leaving. Because if you have, especially if you have girls and they are seeing it, this is what's going to happen. You're going to continue the cycle of abuse most likely your grandmother your mother you have now been in the same process now your kids is going to go through it so you got to break the curse so you got to be strong for your children's sake if you're not strong and you think you love this person so much listen at the end of the day uh the abuse is also carry over they might not have hit the child yet but psychologically you're damaging your kid think about that. I don't know who need to hear this this morning, but I just need to let you know, guys, abuse is never cute at all. You know, you have the kids that cut on themselves. You have kids committing suicide because they're trapped. They don't, you know, they're depending on you, the adult, to, to protect them. And if you are staying in an abusive relationship, all you're doing, guys, is the, the kids are having problems. They're going to school. They're acting out. They're starting to bully people because that's all they know in the household. They're not comfortable at house, in the house. They're not comfortable at school. They're not comfortable on the playground. They're not comfortable anywhere because you're not protecting them because you can't protect yourself. Guys, listen, there's uh, tons and tons of domestic violence shelter. Um, I know it's not comfortable sometimes. Um, we don't want to go live in a shelter, but listen... To, even if you have to run out with two pieces of clothes or sometimes just the clothes on your back, listen, get out with your life. Some people live, live in a body bag, and you know a statistic these days, guys, that 
it's more likely to happen. Your lover, your own kids, your mother, your father is killing you these days. Get out. Get out now. That's all I got to say. I'm so tired of coming on here and telling you guys to get out now. Um, another thing is when you're inside of um, a domestic violence or a narcissistic or abusive relationship, guys, um, um, sometimes you use drugs, narcotics, uh, drinking to cope with the pain. You drink so much alcohol because you're trying to numb, you're numbing out. I know because I used to smoke so much weed to buy $100 worth of weed a, 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 a week. And it's just like, at one point, I just got to the point where, man, I can't, I can't do this no more. I feel exhausted. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And then it's just not good to take all those drugs and alcohol in your system because what's going to happen? You're going to need something stronger and stronger to keep on numbing out the pain. Just stop the pain by just leaving. I don't care how much you think you love this person. This person do not love you. Period. End of story. I'm serious, guys. This is a subject that I'm so uh, passionate about. I've been there. I lived it. And, and I know I know how it feels to be a victim of domestic violence, whether you're going through financial, sexual abuse. It's always more than one type of abuse in a, in a domestic violence uh, because it starts out so subtly and then it escalates. Like I said, guys, don't leave in a body bag. That's not love. You're just addicted to the person um, or you're trauma bonded. Okay? Get out. Just get out. Whatever you do, get out. There's a lot of uh, coaches, counselors. Um, first of all, the National Domestic Violence Hotline. Call them. Call Safe Horizon. Get some counselors to talk to. Get strong within yourself. Get on your knees. Pray to God. Whatever you do, just get out. And stop numbing out. Because when you look up, guys, you're going to be like 25 years in, 10 years in, and you don't reach anywhere. You're not going to grow with that person because that person only want to tear you down. They don't love you. That's not love. Okay? And that person has a lot of childhood issues that they didn't deal with. And until they deal with it, they're never going to get better. And you can't fix anyone. Okay? You can't fix anyone. God got to change them. All right? So you leave and you get better uh, with self. And plus, once you leave, you're never, you're never going to want to go back, guys. Not when you get really healthy. Not when you see that you could do it on your own. You feel in a, you're in a better space. Once you get healthy, you're not going to want to attract these people again in your life. They're going to be uh, so... They're going to turn you off. I'm almost to my destination, but I just really wanted to talk to somebody this morning because so much people are hurting out here. So much people don't love themselves. And that's what it really boils down to because if you love yourself, you're not going to let nobody mistreat you. You're not. You're going to know your worth. You're going to walk away from that situation and you're going to get healthy, especially if you have kids. You're not going to want to let them see you getting abuse. They're not going to respect you. And they're going to think that's normal, normal behavior. And then they're going to grow up and, and either either commit, committing um, violence on somebody, bullying somebody, or they're going to also get into abusive relationship, even to the point where they abuse their own kids later on in life. Because that's what you teach them. You're the parents. I'm to my destination. Thank you, guys. I love that. I love that I was able to... Uh, come and do this video for you guys real quickly yeah it's not a pretty thing to get abused black eyes broken bones all type of trauma all type of trauma mental trauma some people end up in psychiatric ward you know get better with self guys good morning how you doing 2901 290 sorry 2951.2 all right guys i got to go